Hey everybody, what is up? It is Dakota here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your epilepsy warning on your PS3. If you have EDA firmware, I'm pretty sure it just says, like, these hackers have not been abused or something like that. So I'm just going to turn on my PS3 here really quick so that way you guys can see what it is before I change it. And it should show up. Let's check. Okay, ps is turning on. Yep, there you go. Okay, so after this, it says your epilepsy warning. This PS3 to custom firmware was created for the PlayStation community. No hacker has been abused. Enjoy. So I'm going to be showing you how to change that today. So what you're going to need is everything the down in the description, whatever. You know, that's the usual. So when you do all of that, you come back here and then you go into Rebug Toolbox. Or Multiman, like I said in my last tutorial. But you need to um, put access on dev blind files. But... With you with Rebug Toolbox, you don't normally you don't have to do that. So I'm just using Rebug Toolbox for this. So right here we're gonna navigate to Dev underscore Rebug VSH Resource, and I believe it's in here. Syscon F. Yep, here we go. Syscon F underscore Plugin dot RCO. You're going to need that one RCO stuff. I did copy every single one over, but I'm just going to copy it over again to show you. Maybe I didn't copy every single one over. Just going to have underscore plug in that RCO. So now we're going to open up RCO Maj. RCO Maj. Yeah, RCO Maj. GUI. RCO Maj GUI dot EXE. Then you're going to find your RCO input, which was in here. It's just kind of F underscore plugin dot RCO, your XML output, just name it something, blah, blah. And then you are going to uncheck all of this, I'm pretty sure. No. Leave those checked. And then dump. You need to wait for it to dump. Usually takes a while, but <clears throat> there we go. It's successfully dumped. Now, if we go back to this, you should see images, text, and our XML file. Go into text and find your language, whatever language you have on your PS3, and edit that with Notepad plus plus. And then here you go, here's your stuff, so now hit control F, go to hacker. And here you go, this PS3, the custom firmware was created for the hackers, whatever, you know. So then you can edit that to whatever you want, so I'm just going to edit to swag. And then there, bam, swag. Save it. Don't make this too long, or else you may soft brick. Try and keep it short and sweet. So now we don't need that anymore. And then we're going to open up RCO Maj again, click compile, XML input is going to be that the file that we made earlier with the random name. And your RCO output is going to be syscon f underscore plugin dot RCO, yes. Make sure header compression is zlib and then click compile. And then wait for it to compile. Whoa, rebook toolbox is having a fit. Okay, I fixed it. Please respond. Don't do this to me. Come on, man. Okay, I'll just I'll just uh cut here and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so my RCO has successfully compiled. It didn't take too long after I quit. So, now what you're going to do is go back into your file Zilla. And, no, I didn't want that. You stay over there. And then you go to your syscon F plugin, whatever. Yeah, that thing. And then copy it over. It's going to say it changed and whatever. Just click OK. Now, we are going to close out of everything else because we don't need it anymore. Open up a podge. Wait for that to open. Wait for it to show rebug toolbox. OK. 
Come on, man. There we go. Now we're going to restart our system. Can't see what it says here. Soft, full, on, off cycle. Do a full reboot. Let it reboot. Here it comes. And our text should just say swag after the PS3 Eda logo. Here's our logo. And warning, swag. So there you guys go. There's your tutorial. If you want to do anything else, you know, I'm always here. Let me know if you want to do something. I'll try and write a tutorial for it. And I'll show you guys how to do it. So, yeah. Peace.